Well, the new year is just around the corner, and that means it's time to set some resolutions. If you're looking to exercise more in the new year, it helps to have a plan. So joining us today is Nathan Trent, a trainer at Lifetime Fitness, to talk about ways to make achievable goals in the gym this January. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. All right, so as we dive in, talk about some of your top tips to help people as they're setting these New Year's resolutions. Absolutely. I have two that come to mind. First off, it can be really overwhelming going 0 to 100 on New Year's goals. So how about to make it more of a life? lifestyle change. So instead of saying let's get into the gym for an hour every day, maybe just 30 minutes of activity. So that could be walking around the park, that could be going to the gym lifting weights, or it could just be walking your dog. Mm -hmm. The second one being having a system of, of accountability. So that can be a close family member, friend, personal trainer, anything along those lines. Personal trainers can really help just to really provide accountability and expertise in that area. So if someone is going to the gym for, you know, maybe it's been a while since they've mm -hmm. been, they're just trying to get back into it. What would you recommend? Where should they start? Are there certain pieces of equipment? Do you think yeah. as if you're trying to do that 30 minutes of activity, possibly walking around a track, maybe an elliptical machine, where would you suggest they start? I think anything they can do is good. So walking around a track is great. Definitely get some cardio in. If you're looking at the, the weights on the weight floor, then machines are a really good starting place if you don't have an experience because those are really fixed ranges of motion. So you don't have to worry about any stability or things like that. So risk of injury is a little lower, but anywhere you can start is really good. And you were saying something in the break that you don't, it needs to be, as you said, a lifestyle change, but you said that it's because it's not just something, it needs to be achievable and attainable, Absolutely. right? Yes. It's sort of elaborate on that, on why uh, it, it will last longer if it's a lifestyle change. Well, you think about anything you go 100% on or like over the top on from the get-go, you're going to burn out really quick. So if we can set it to where it's manageable each day, then it becomes a lifestyle change rather than just something I do for New Year's resolution. And forcing yourself into the gym or something exactly. like that. Exactly, yes. Um, now, I know that you are really on the fitness side of things, but how does the diet also affect it and yeah. getting into the gym? Diet's huge. So if we're not fueling our bodies properly, we're not going to have the resources necessary to see the benefits. So diet's going to make a big portion of that, and then exercise is what we do with what resources we provide. So definitely making sure diet's in place is really good. Are there any, uh, is there a website or email address where if people are watching and they're like, hey, I want to do this in the new year, get into the gym, uh, is there any way that they can reach out to Lifetime Fitness or reach out to you uh, to get started? Absolutely. So you can go to the Lifetime website, you can sign up, call, any of those things, and then we offer intros to dynamic personal training, which is pretty much an hour with a fitness professional, and we go over nutrition, we go over exercise, take through workouts, so it's a really good starting place to go from there. All right, well, Nathan, we appreciate you being with us today. Thank you so much for sharing Thank these you. tips.